In the city of Homs, the military doesn't sound like it's in retreat. Yet, that was what was meant to be happening now. Under a UN-brokered plan, the army has less than 24 hours to pull out from Syrian towns and cities. That's looking increasingly unlikely. Not just because the violence has intensified, but because the Syrian leadership has made new demands. It wants the rebels to provide a written guarantee that they will disarm. They've refused to do so. This is a Syrian army tank that the rebels managed to take out. The government fears that if they leave, the opposition will regroup and take control of the city. Every day, 1,000 Syrians are arriving in Turkish refugee camps. They bring with them harrowing stories and their grief. I have been missing my family, my country. I have been feeling very upset. 24,000 Syrians are now living here. The Turkish government says they're welcome, but it's growing impatient. Not just with the Syrian leadership, but with the international community. Turkey says it's time the United Nations got tougher. Zoe Conway, BBC News.